All right, let's do this week's pickups. Uh, I went to an antique market, found a couple of cool cards this week, and a card show that was local to me. So let's start with the antique market. I found a stack of vintage cards. I think it was $42 for this whole stack. Let's quickly scroll through here. We got some random 1970, 69, 70 cards, a couple beat up. Some of these all-star cards from 78, 79, and then some more 82, 83. I'm not going to go through them all. They're just commons. Same thing with these uh, 74, 75s. I think there's at least 100 cards in this lot. Here's some of the better, uh, better stuff, I suppose. We got a Doug Wilson rookie. Bob Nystrom, we got a Steve Shutt, some 71, 72 All-Stars and Award winners, Brad Park, J.C. Tremblay, we got a bossy rookie uh, highlight, so a few more of the Hall of Famers from that lot, there's a couple of bossy Lafleur Shutt cards. Cool design, always one of my favorites. Uh, some 73, 74s, a couple of these leaders, and some other kind of bigger name players. What else do we have in there? We got some Canadians, always uh, pick these up on the cheap. People always want those and Leafs and stuff. Prices are down, down, down across the board, as people have already noticed. We have a Bobby Orr there with uh, the Detroit Dion on the bottom, Phil Esposito. Yeah, so good time to buy. I've bought a few bigger PC cards over the last year because the prices were right. Um, I knew this antique market, funny, around here... Uh, near Toronto, an hour away from Toronto, there was a crazy Otani rumor. Friday was going nuts. Everybody thought he was coming. I was like, I don't know. But I still knew that my local antique market, one vendor had these for pretty cheap. I think I paid around 40 bucks for both of these. Like, yeah, I'll grab those. You never know. I mean, he's going to the Dodgers, as everybody knows by now, 700 million. That is absolutely bananas. I mean, I love Otani, but risk, risk, risk. Here's the coolest thing I found at the antique market. This is a 1966. It's uh, Foldies. I think this might be Tops. Kind of hilarious though, we got the Babe on the front there, Babe Ruth. Uh, anytime I can get some oddball, old school Babe Ruth cards, I'm all over it. Especially considering this was 25-ish dollars. It's uh, perforated. It's got the... Uh, yeah, you, it's got uh, the Wicked Witch or whatever and Wonder Woman. The hilarious thing about this is you do this. <laughs> that's funny yeah there's the babe so yeah uh don't see many of these on ebay but obviously had to grab that one all right so let's do today's card show i didn't get a lot didn't really feel it today but i did of course find some stuff mostly dumpster diving in the dollar boxes some of these were like 50 cents i got another babe ruth uh this is triple threads i think tops triple threads just a base card of babe a couple of these dollar box cards here um this was in the dollar box uh boom boom jeffrey and the thing with this one is it's actually nice but it's trimmed big time on the top there it's missing like maybe an eighth of an inch or so um this was a good find Claude Giroux retro rookie card uh Yuri Perez autograph was in a two dollar box uh, pretty 
Pretty big splash last year with the Marlins rookie pitcher. I'm going to put some of this stuff on the eBay to facilitate other purchases. If anybody's interested, check the link in the description. I'm always open to offers. This was funny. I saw this. Uh, I got the Babe and I got the Honus reprints now. But this one, I thought it was a little more interesting because it's hand numbered. Gretzky's making my focus. Uh, I got to get rid of him back there. Maybe mantle too. Yeah, hand numbered on the back. And the other cards I got today were three graded Gretzky's on the cheap. Again, the market is down. And you know what? This is a five. All three of these cards that I bought being mid grade, I think they're like severely undergraded or. It goes to show that the uh, grading standards are way different now. So there's 82, 83 scoring leader. We got a six on this one. It's a um, the Art Ross, obviously. Again, really super clean. Uh, and this uh, unbelievably sharp and centered. I gotta cover these guys up. Uh, 82, 83, or 83, 84, sorry, uh, leader, or highlight Gretzky Messier. This is one of my favorite, uh, Gretzky cards. Super centered and sharp. I, I can't really, there must be some kind of surface issue on this to get a five, but man, if for eye appeal, it does not get better than that. Uh, $20 I paid for this card. It's off-centered on the back, but that's not going to bring it down to a five. Almost a candidate to resubmit, but I'm not going to bother. Yeah, really sharp card. And that's all I got. Nothing special going on. Just kind of slow. Uh, there's going to be a few shows over the Christmas break. Um, be waiting for some grading returns. Probably February, I'm going to guess. So, yep, yeah, as I said... Uh, do me a favor, hit the like, hit the subscribe. I'm going to do a giveaway when I get to 600. Um, some of the stuff's on the eBay if anybody was interested. Check the link in the description. All right, stay tuned.